The Government of Western Australia and the University of Western Australia acknowledge the traditional custodians throughout WA and their continuing connection to land, waters and community. We pay our respects to all members of the Aboriginal communities and their cultures and to Elders past and present. Welcome to the Recharge in a Changing Climate Project, a collaboration between the Department of Water and Environmental Regulation and the University of Western Australia. Southwest WA is experiencing a drying climate and an increased demand in groundwater across the Swan Coastal Plain. Perth is heavily reliant on groundwater. We use it as a drinking water source, we use it for horticulture and agriculture, local industry relies on it, and we use it to water our parks and ovals. Over recent decades, we've observed a steady decline in groundwater levels in our regional aquifers. This has led to record lows in some of our important regional wetlands. In some cases, it's led to loss of health in some of our groundwater dependent vegetation systems, and in some cases, it's led to the movement of saltwater inland in some of our coastal aquifers. The reason that we're seeing groundwater declines is due to the fact that we have significant pumping from our aquifers in combination with a reduction in recharge rates. Recharge is a term that we give for water that moves through the soil profile and refills our groundwater aquifers. When it rains, some water runs into streams and rivers. But most of it gets used up by plants and trees or evaporates. In the Perth region, about one of every five raindrops filters down through the soil and rocks until it reaches the aquifer below, adding new water to the groundwater supply. Balancing the recharge with the amount of water we take from the aquifers is crucial for environmental health and water security, especially in the Swan Coastal Plain, which is vulnerable to water shortages due to our warming and drying climate. Just like you can't keep withdrawing money from a bank account without making new deposits, we can't keep taking groundwater out of aquifers without that supply being refilled through recharge. At our monitoring sites, we use advanced sensors and measurement equipment to understand how the rainfall, the vegetation, the soil and the depth of the groundwater influence recharge rates. We link data from the field with computer models to predict how recharge rates might change with the climate. This helps us manage water resources more effectively. Our collaboration with the Department of Water and Environmental Regulations translates scientific findings into practical impacts. The ongoing data collection and regular observations contribute to the forward-looking approach, helping to manage groundwater sustainably. The Recharge in a Changing Climate project goes beyond data collection and modelling. It's about researchers joining forces with groundwater resource managers to use scientific findings for sustainable water management to benefit our environment and our communities. Understanding groundwater recharge helps us to make better planning decisions and helps managers to support critical ecosystems. Reliable recharge measurements allow water managers to balance the competing demands between groundwater users and the environment. By planning for the wise use of groundwater, we can increase the resilience of urban green spaces and help Perth adapt to climate change. The Recharge in a Changing Climate project integrates seamlessly into the Department of Water and Environmental Regulations broader system management. Together, our efforts are paving the way to a sustainable future of Perth's water management. This work is part of the Recharge in a Changing Climate project, which is funded by the State Groundwater Investigation Program of the Department of Water and Environmental Regulation. It is a collaboration between government, industry and academic research. Data collected at the Jinjin Turn Ecosystem Supersite were funded by the Terrestrial Ecosystems Research Network, an Australian Government National Collaborative Research Infrastructure Strategy Enabled Project. To learn more, visit www.wa.gov.au.